it's your girl Marsha with Talks with Marsha, and I'm back with a new video. Ah, uh -uh. go get your charger. You about to miss the show. I wait. Much better. And before you leave, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you can get that notification. Hey you guys, I am back. If you watched the last video, you seen how I refilled my Kira Sky um, nails that I did. So this video here is just to show you how I designed it because um, I was having issues uploading this video. Apple and iCloud was really beefing with me. So I had to do a two part because it took me that long and I had that much footage. So here you're seeing the whole Kira Sky kit, which I explained in the last video, but if you didn't watch it, um, it comes with a, a prep, a primer, builder gel, top coat, and the tips. That is the whole setup that I had on my desk before I got started. And here are the nails once I filled it in with the builder gel. Now, um, I did want to go for an ombre look, so I do have two separate colors that I'm going to use. It's like a peachy color and a chocolate brown. Um, those um, nail polish pots came with my Model 1 kit that I did uh, an unboxing for a couple months ago. But yeah, um, that's the peachy color. Um, I also got a sponge because I wanted to try like a spongy effect, but you'll see it was an epic fail. I also printed out some flame uh, decals, which I printed myself on my Cricut machine. So maybe one day I'll show how I did it, but I just wanted you guys to see um, how I got it done. That's my Cricut um, hook that I'm going to use to peel the stickers. Um, and that is the top coat. Now, I did try the Kiera Sky top coat and the Model 1 because one is thicker than the other, which is the Model 1 is thicker. Um, but I think I ended up just using the Kiera Sky one instead because the Model 1 wasn't working for me. So I'm going to shut up and I'm going to let you guys watch the video. I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I will also leave all the links in the description bar. Um... It's mostly the same thing from the last video, but in case you didn't watch it, you know, it's there. <laughs> Enjoy the video. Bye.
All right, you guys. Um, I just had to cook. This is the part where I tried to use the sponge to do the ombre. I don't know. Maybe the sponge was too dry. Maybe it's supposed to be wet. Maybe I should have researched it. If you guys have any tips about that, leave a comment down. It was like using a brick to smear paint on the wall. It just was not working for me. So you guys going to see, I tried it. I looked at it and I threw that sponge to the side. It was horrible. It's me again. Um, I know you guys probably watching this like, why does she only use one brush? It, yeah, don't worry about it. By the time you see the next video, sis done upgraded to, a, I think I have about six or seven of them. Don't worry about it, sweetheart, okay? Don't judge. <laughs>
All right, so now it's the decal time. So this was my first time doing this. This is my first time printing them out. What I did is I went on Google. I found the flames that I like. I downloaded the transparent ones on my laptop. And then I shot the little picture over to my Cree Cut, put my sticker, well, put my paper, my vinyl paper, and it just cut the design out. Now, I don't know what I was thinking when I was doing my nails this time. Because I did not go watch any other YouTube videos to see how to stick it on my nails. So what I was doing was I was putting the top coat and then I was trying to put the decal on top of the top coat and it just kept kept slipping and sliding everywhere. It, it took me forever. And I think that's why I ended up having like three hours. That's with the fill and the design, I had three hours worth of content and maybe because I was watching TV at the same time. I don't know, but the decals, I love them. They looked really pretty, but I need to do a little more research on how to apply it. And that's probably another reason why I was out of frame most of the time, because I just couldn't for the life of me figure out how to get it on. Um, but eventually, I was going to do all 10 fingers with the flame decal. And I ended up, I think, only doing maybe three on each hand. Maybe. I don't remember anymore. But you'll see it. Just just keep watching. Just Y'all are learning with me as I'm learning, okay? <laughs> but enjoy the rest of the video. I'm going to try to show that.
Hey y'all. Uh this pinky was the worst. Um if I showed you guys a real time how long it took me just to do that one, the last finger, you guys would be laughing at me right now. Um I had placed this on there, cured it, and did not like the way it looked and had to take it off and use another sticker. That's how horrible it was. Um, I don't know if it's because the pinky is smaller, but it was the worst out of all the fingers. And maybe the placement also may have been a little wrong because that finger was so curved. Um, that may have been a reason. I think me placing the top coat first and then putting the sticker on top may have been another reason also. So that's it. Um, here are the final product. I did not show the second hand because this would have been an hour long video. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the tips that I gave. I hope you guys enjoyed and laughed at my pain. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And check out, just, you know, stay tuned for the next one. <laughs> Bye, you guys.